Hey guys, this is my December 2012 wrap up vlog, and I'm here to show you the books that I read for the month of December. I read about five ebooks, one library book, which I don't have anymore, and the rest are actual books I have. And the first book is Colonization by Aubrey Dion, and I really love this one. It is for fans of the Across the Universe series by Beth Barbas or Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. It is space and time I don't know if it's time travel I believe it's time travel I read it like a month ago so I don't remember but I really like this one I gave it a four out of five the next book is Unresisting by Shane Morgan I was a little on the fence about this one it kind of reminded me of Twilight and Twilight kind of annoyed me even though I liked it when it first came out but yeah there's a lot of paranormal love story and a lot of action so it wasn't so bad. It's a 3 out of 5. Embrace by Cherry Sherry Coiler. This one was a good enough read as well. I was interested in the story and kept me reading until the very end and I believe it was a 3 out of 5. And this is Fire by Shauna Granger. This is the fourth book in the Elemental series and I was really excited for this one. I thought it was going to be awesome because it's one of my favorite characters, but it fell short. I was a little bored in this one, so just make sure you read all the others because sometimes you would get lost. And Release, this is the third book in the Protector series by M.R. Merrick, and his writing style is very fast-paced, very character-driven, and very plot-driven, so he does that really, really well. And this is a 4 out of 5, I believe I rated it. The last book, which I don't have unfortunately, is my library book, Bumped by Megan McCafferty, and I really enjoyed her writing. She's hilarious if you don't know her. She's from the Jessica Darling series, and I really loved her concept, the fact that women over the age of 18 can't get pregnant, so teenagers are basically surrogate mothers, and if you guys are into that kind of stuff, there's hot boys in this one, so I really like this one. And the next book is Dead Man's Hen by Eddie Jones. This is from Zondervan, and they write Christian fiction. And since I'm Catholic, I do like reading something out of the norm. I started it that genre this year, and I was really surprised at how much I like some of them. So I kept going, and this one wasn't as bad as others. This was more of a mystery, so if, you, if you're into that one, there's not a lot of Christian stuff in here. So, mystery, and this is both, um, I think this is more like children's, like 9 to 12, so if you're into that stuff, take this, make sure to check it out. The Friday Society by Adrian Kress. Uh, I was part of the blog tour from Razorbill, Canada, and I was really excited for this one because of this amazing cover as well. Three kick-ass characters. They are all different, they're all beautiful, they are all lethal, and the only thing I can say is that I was really bored with this one. I wanted more action. There's a lot of mystery in this one, and I don't mind mystery, but I also want it interlaced with action and adventure and romance and all that stuff. So yeah, just take a note in reading this one. The next book is Fallen Kingdoms by Margan Rhodes. I was really excited for this one. I love, love, love fantasy. And she has written an amazing, amazing world. And I really wanted to give this a five. But there's some things that bother me in this one. But I really can't wait for the next one. And in a nutshell, I can basically say that if George R. R. Martin wrote a series for teens, this would be the series. Because... There's so many plot lines, so many characters, and you don't get confused because the writing is very simple. So make sure to check this one. This is definitely a must read. Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. I've always had trouble with contemporary for some reason. I don't know if it's because I read so many Sweet Valley Teen books as a kid that I'm sick of contemporary. Maybe that's partly why, but I gave this a 2 out of 5 because whining and I don't know, like my 
the problems that the teenagers go through, of course, are legitimate problems, but sometimes I just don't care. So, yeah, if you guys have recommendations for great, great contemporary reads, please let me know. I need to have a 5 out of 5 contemporary read, please. And the next book is J.R. Ward's Heart of Gold. She's actually writing as Jessica, Bur Jessica Bird in this one. And what can I say? It is an adult contemporary romance. And this is my first romance novel. I actually haven't read any of them. If you don't include Daniel Steele, which I read once as a kid because I was curious. But um, yeah, I was surprised at how much I like it. There's a lot of cliche involved in this one where, you know, the guy has like certain one-liners one and obviously they fall in love, you know, it's predictable, all that cutesy, wootsy stuff. But I was surprised at how much I like it. The characters were very good together. They had a very good chemistry and I would actually read more from her. That's probably why she's also a New York Times bestseller. I believe she's that author of the Demon Brotherhood something series. Yeah, I'm not sure. So yeah, first time reading adult contemporary. Good one. And the last book, because I cannot wait till next year, is Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi. This one was my number one coveted arc from this year, and I really, really love her writing style. It is beautiful, and she writes with such emotion that you can feel it leap off the pages. And I just have to say that the first 150 plus pages are a little slow, and then it just starts to get from there. And all I have to say is that I am on Team Warner. He is awesome, and you guys need to read this. Please, please, if you guys haven't read it yet, go out when you go out and get it because I can't recommend this one enough. So yeah, those are all the books I read in the month of December and I can't wait to hear all your recommendations. Let me know if you've read any of the books I have listed below and I'll see you guys next year. Happy New Year guys!